Hello, this is Dr. Tom with uh, NCS problem number 76, uh, which is a problem on uh, combined cycles. So uh, let's get started. Okay, the NCS solution uh, does provide a correct answer. However, the steps are really not clear and they're not in kind of the order they should be. In fact, the term in one of the, in the denominator of the expression for thermal efficiency is actually incorrect or the actual terms are not consistent with each other in terms of whether are they uh, per unit mass or not. Uh, also, there's virtually, like many of the problem, not many, lots of the problems in the um, NCS uh, sample exam, there's no units provided anywhere, which doesn't help. Uh, and the source of some ones that you see in the solution uh, have uh, been the source of uh, many uh, questions by previous participants here. So uh, once you've worked the problem, uh, watch, or at least attempt to work the problem there, then watch the uh, DTC solution here that I'm getting ready to do. So I'm going to pause here a second for you to do that. Okay, well, uh, you, you may have some of the same questions other people have. Okay, uh, as we've done uh, before, uh, neglecting the power, of course, delivered by the pump uh, to the steam power plant, the overall thermal efficiency can be expressed as the following uh, first uh, uh, term there. Uh, but uh, note that I have put the, the correct uh, denominator or um, in the, uh, and this equation uh, should be first, but it's actually last in the solution, which, which uh, I think is a wrong place for it. Um, the W, there's a W dot in the numerator, so there, and a, a lowercase q in the denominator. It probably could have gone the other way and had a lowercase, leave the lowercase q, but uh, get rid of the dot in the numerator. <laughs> but whatever it is, it's not consistent, and of course they don't uh, highlight uh, the fact that the W dot net is the sum of the net from the gas turbine plus the net from the steam uh, power plant um, and then the uh, uh, the, the uh, separation of those uh, into m dots times uh, um, work per unit mass or heat transfer per unit uh, mass uh, with the m dot uh, of the gas and m dot of the steam okay now from the information given in the statement of the problem the net work per unit mass for the turbine is provided uh, is 137 BTUs per pound mass as part of the statement of the problem. And then uh, neither, of course, mass flow rates are given. However, uh, the heat inside the HRSG uh, uh, satisfies uh, this, this equation, and they, they use it, but they use, of course, instead of gas and steam, they use uh, uh, numbers. And then they uh, find, uh, find this ratio, y, uh, although uh, they uh, label it uh, m.6, which of course is incorrect. m.6, I think, is the m dot of the, of the steam. Um, but they do get 0.123. So there's a mislabeling of that quantity, which of course confuses things. And it's after an, an equation that's got some uh, ones in the m.6 in it, but it should have y instead. So the equation before this one is incorrect. Okay, so uh, this uh, this one that's in front of things really is the it represents the m dot gas divided by m dot gas, and the y, um, uh, whatever letter you want to, is the ratio of the m dot steam to the m dot gas. Okay, so now if we put this in uh, the equation, uh, the proper equation, um, you get uh, of course you have the one times the uh, the net. Uh, from the gas turbine, 137, then the 0.123 times the uh, network of the um, turbine from the um, steam power plant, the difference in its um, enthalpies, 1450 minus 970, and then divided by, and I have the one there, again representing uh, the uh, m dot gas divided by m dot gas, that's the, the 646 minus 272 is the uh, lowercase qn. And so when you do the arithmetic, you get 52%, uh, uh, which is uh, which is what they get. It's just that the solution is such that uh, with the um, typos and uh, some other way in which they approached it, it, it made a, a problem that uh, is difficult enough as it is, but it does need to be, uh, in, the difficulty does not need to be enhanced. And uh, this is what uh, actually happened. So... Uh, well, that concludes the presentation. As always, we uh, appreciate you uh, allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.